I'm outside of DeWitt High School where there will be a fashion show this Thursday night to highlight the importance of second chances. Good. Have you guys been practicing your walks and everything? I have. <laughs> I have. I definitely have. Lights, camera, and taking action. The students of Jeff Crowley's creative leadership class at DeWitt High School are putting on a fashion show featuring outfits made entirely from clothes that have been given a second chance. Jeff Crowley came to me and pitched this idea and said, what do you think? And I said, count me in. I just believe in second chances for anything. I think we all make mistakes in our life. Well, Mr. Crowley actually had the original thought to do a thrifted second chance fashion show, and I loved it. Senior Paige Tuckerman, student organizer for the show, is going to Saginaw Valley State University in the fall with the hopes of one day becoming a wrongful convictions attorney, a job centered around giving second chances. So we asked groups of students to go out and find whatever they want, kind of come up with their own themes, create their own looks, things that they feel comfortable in, just to give clothes that second chance to be beautiful, as well as us giving second chances to inmates. All proceeds from the show will go toward buying Hustle workbooks for Ingham County inmates. There's a ton of information in it, like if they're interested in starting their own business, there's a chapter on that. There's a chapter on relationships, um, all kinds of things. How to deal with anger or difficult people, and that kind of thing. There are puzzles in it, it's really interesting. Ingham County Jail Program Coordinator Cynthia Johnson brought the Hustle Workbooks to the jail about a year ago and said about 250 inmates are using the book. Realize this, one of the things that we push in the jail is, especially with these books, is that the community is doing this for you. They want you to see you succeed. Senior Abby Yulon, who says she's been designing clothes since she was seven, is taking her role as a designer one step further. I took it as an opportunity to take the thrifted clothes, deconstruct them, and just use the fabric, and then I make my own patterns and reassemble everything. I can't wait to see everyone's looks. I know I put a lot of hard work into mine, so I really can't wait to show them off. I think it's for a great cause, and I think it's a reminder that fashion can be sustainable. Tickets are $7 for students and $12 for adults. Tickets will be on sale at the door on the night of the event, and if you aren't able to go, the class is also accepting donations. Reporting from your neighborhood in DeWitt, I'm Lauren Shields, Fox 47 News.